Let's go into that, actually. Let's go into that. Yeah. Alex Pereira versus... <laughs> man, Alex Pereira is a motherfucker, man. Yeah. Like, bro, I love that guy. Like, I think I... I loved him anyway, but I he's think... Growing he's growing on me. He's, he's, he's one of the goats, man, already, just for this shit. <laughs> no, he... Yeah, he wins this fight. I, I've got to, like, stop the hate. Uh, he's, he's doing amazing things, man. Just, like, even seeing this fight announced, I'm like, holy, this guy is amazing. Yeah, man, and it's not going to be an easy weight cut. The guy walks around at two forty, you know, two probably two forty five now because he's a fucking light heavyweight. When he was walking at middleweight, uh, walk around weight at middleweight, it was like two thirty. I mm. think he's probably put on fifteen pounds at least, man, going up to light heavyweight. Now, I do feel like it is going to be a very dangerous fight because you're facing a Yuri Prohashka that isn't coming off injury. You know, that is. He didn't look like he didn't look amazing again in his last fight against Rakic. But what he did show is he showed that he's got fucking heart. You know, he still showed that durability. That leg kick, he just it's almost like he didn't give a fuck about the leg kick. He did you know? he said he like he's like sometimes in a fight you have to just decide to like sacrifice a limb and keep coming forward. And I'm yeah. like, bro, is that your goal? Because it you did that against Alex and it didn't seem to work too well. Yeah. So hopefully that's not the goal in this fight is to just well, give up the leg. It's kind of silly, man. It's like some people, I mean, some of these fighters, I don't know what they're doing against Alex Pereira because it's almost like they fight a bit too, like almost reckless. Jamal Hill um, thing was, you know, is what it is. Like, I think it was more of a, it was more of an unfortunate kind of error on his part, you know. So I'm not going to say he um, underestimated Alex. He's clearly... You know, he, he clearly kind of respected him. But you got guys like Yuri Prohashka that's got his hands all the way down, yeah? Yeah. In the pocket with Alex Pereira. Like, what are you doing, man? Like, why? It's just <laughs> cockiness. People just feel... I think it is a little bit of disrespect. Like, people see the admiration that they're putting on, the striking ability of Alex, and they're like, what? I'm a better striker. I can knock that guy out. And then they get in there and they go stiff. And it's like, wow, dude, like... He yeah. is what you thought he was. Like, I mean, I think Ray said this best. Yeah, I, we had a podcast with one of the guys, Ray. Yeah, a few months ago, he goes, "The one thing that makes MMA fighters great is the ego. That, that that's but it's a double edged sword because mm -hmm. obviously they've got an ego. They they think they're the world's greatest ever since fucking Anderson Silva, John Jones. Yeah, yeah. every fighter thinks that they're going into the UFC that they could, they're going to be the number one guy, mm -hmm. but." Do not forget that you guys are mixed martial artists and wrestle, man. Like with Alex Pereira, it's almost, it doesn't make sense yet how he's gotten this far, bro, with no wrestling. Like DC said it best. Like this dude fucking is doing so sick at 205 and 185. But the guy can't wrestle. What's going on? <laughs> the People hell? just, they're, they're too cocky, man. Like even um, Mega Man on have said he's going to knock him out standing. Idiot. Why is that your why is that your game plan? <laughs> yeah. Take him down. <laughs> exactly. Jan had the only game. He so he did it a bit too much because he goes, I'm gonna stand with him. I'm not wrestling with him. Yeah, bro, Obviously, like, I'm not wrestling with him. And like he might as well have just came out in a wrestling singlet, man, for that fight. Like he <laughs> just <laughs> straight away single leg. Oh, it's not working. Double leg. Let me just fucking try and um, hump him to a decision victory. I don't think Yuri's the one to implement the grappling game plan on alex so i feel like this is another win for alex that's what i think man i think i love yuri prohashka i've been a big fan of yuri prohashka since uh ryzen i thought he's just amazing competitor his record is crazy as well it's like i think it's like 30 and 3 man mm -hmm. 30 and 4 bro that's in, in mma yeah that is insane like i mean just to kind of put some perspective on that i'm looking at Okay, let's just compare, yeah, George St. Pierre's record. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, again, George St. Pierre's faced yeah. like the better competition. I'm not taking anything away from him, but if you're just looking at record alone, yeah, okay, so George is 26 and two, arguably 26 and three. Johnny Hendricks, I'm um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like Alex, like, you know, Alex Pereira's got a decent record on paper when you look at it on paper, but then you look at the people he's beating, and he's being Izzy, he's being Sean Strickland, two former champions, he's beating Jan Bahovic, Yuri Prashka, four former champions. Like, 
damn, how could I not think that he's gonna start Jerry again? Yeah, like everything there's the, everything is there, man. Like the the writings on the wall. Alex is probably just going there. He doesn't need too much of a camp. He's already had a camp for him. I don't think this is there's enough time for Yuri to somehow form a game plan to do something different than what happened in the first fight. If if I'm wrong though, I mean I would love to see it, you know. And then yeah. we got to do a trilogy. I'd love to see that, you know, but I don't I don't see it happening. I think Yuri and again, Yuri's a samurai, you know, self-proclaimed proclaimed mm. Czech samurai. I mean, I I I, I, you know, I buy it, man. He's a fucking samurai for sure. But it's time to be less of a samurai. Be, be a fucking a mixed martial artist. Like. Exactly. Be <laughs> smart, man. Be smart. Don't stand in the pocket with a fucking glory kickboxer, man. That's mm-hmm. one titles there. Like it's just mm-hmm. the stupidest thing ever. You know, you know what I think is the most exciting part about these fights being shuffled around. Yeah. New fights. Diego Lopez versus Brian Ortega. Okay. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> yes, I am so excited for that fight. Uh, yeah. That is going to be so much fight in there. It's a banger. I'm, I just Definitely, can't wait. Man. I got. I I got to go with my boy Brian Ortega, man. Oh really? I'm a Diego, I love Brian Ortega. Diego right Lopez now. stand, dude. I th- I think the world of Diego Lopez. Really? Yeah, I, dude. Uh, man. I, I don't know what it is. So I just love Brian Ortega, man. He's such a nice guy and. Not just that yet. I don't feel like the world has seen his full ability yet because he's winning fights when he's losing and getting his ass kicked, man. Like, imagine if he improved his striking just a tad bit more, you know, or he didn't get fucking injured five seconds before a fight. You you know what I mean? Like, if those things weren't taken into consideration, like, I think he could do a lot better. I've always thought Ortega was overrated, but after that last fight, honestly, I was like, oh, oh maybe maybe he's a lot better than I thought. Yeah, he looked sick in that last fight. So, yeah, I don't know. I have always thought he was overrated, so I don't think I'm the best judger. I don't have the best judgment on Ortega, but I think the world of Diego Lopez, I think that man is a monster. Oh, no, he's damn good, man. He's like, got power in the hands. Like, his jujitsu is great. Like, man, if that hits the ground, that's going to be very interesting for me. Like, yeah. That's, this even is an exciting fight. Against, fight. Yeah, even his last fight against Sadiq Yusuf, man, he looked like an absolute murderer, man. Mm-hmm. Like, you he know, you gigantic in there. Oh, my God. He's a big boy, isn't he? For mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What is he like? I'm just trying to check. He's 5'11", isn't he? For Is he? I thought he was smaller than that. No, he's like a fi- he's five foot eleven, and he's oh, got like a, he's got seventy two inch reach, man. So yeah, he's, that's pretty big. Yeah, like a hundred percent. And Brian Ortega, he is stand. Whoa, I mean, officially on paper, this can't be right. Brian Ortega's five eight. I think he's more like five nine, to be fair. But sixty nine inch reach. So he's given a bit of height and reach against Diego Lopez. Now Brian Ortega isn't really known as a fucking takedown guy so much. So. How do you think he wins this if he was to win? Who, Ortega? Yeah, if he was to win. I'm just going to go by that because I'm biased. Uh, yeah, how, do you, <laughs> how do you think he could win? I think I think he's really good at just, like, catching people with submissions, just, like, clamping down on something out of nowhere. I think that's... Like, if, he, if it's even in the grappling exchange of the clinches, I think he could just, like grab on to something really fast. I think that's his best shot at winning this. Otherwise, I feel like Diego is going to be better than him in the striking exchanges. And I feel like he's just going to be bigger, stronger than him in the grappling. And I, yeah, I think Ortega is going to just need to try to catch him. That's the thing. Do you know what's weird? Yeah, Jermaine, like a few years ago, you know, when he came back after getting his ass whooped, yeah, by Max Holloway. So he, he took some a zombie. Oh, yeah. He came back to the zombie and he looked like a fucking striker, man. He looked so crisp. He had such a great jab, beautiful boxing. He got out of the way of Korean zombie shots as well. I thought he was looking really crisp, man. And then we don't see that again. We don't see that. So I always felt like that fight was just perfectly set up for Ortega because at the time, like after that fight, zombie improved his striking, but before that, if you watch Zombie, he never cut off the cage. He just follows the yeah. opponent. So Ortega just kept circling off, and 
zombie just kept following him not cutting him off and i was like dude you're just gonna keep you're just gonna keep chasing after him hoping yeah, yeah, yeah. You can catch him so i felt like he kind of set him up and if you if you go back to the yair fight that's how yair, yair caught him with that elbow about three or four times in that fight like not just the knockout because zombie just chases you and gives well he used to just chase and let you hit him with whatever like korean yeah. zombie so yeah, Ortega looked great in that fight, but I felt like that was the perfect fight for him to showcase what was seen as more improved striking. I think his striking has gotten better, but yeah, it's definitely not going to look, he's not going to look like that world beater that he looked like in that fight because Zombie was just chasing him the entire fight. Yeah, it's true. That's true. And it's such a short notice fight in some ways. How are you going to be able to adjust in such a short space of time? I hope these guys are getting paid like good money, man. Take these short notice fights, honestly. Alex Pereira, I'm hoping he's getting a couple of million at the very minimum, man, taking a short notice. No, yeah, he should get paid pretty well. He got like maybe just under three million for the last for UFC 300. And I believe that's that, was even, that is too short. That's too small. For mm -hmm, yeah, I feel like he should get more than that for this one. I feel like that was short notice, right? For UFC 300. Yeah, I mean, it was fairly short notice. Short notice. You know, you're taking it under six, seven weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not enough time. I mean, it's a camp, but. It's very, it's like a rushed camp, isn't it? You know, you mm -hmm. don't have time to kind of acclimatize your body before you go into camp even. So, yeah, man, interesting one. Like, uh, some interesting fights being made. Anthony, or Jamal Hill has a knee injury, and he's out. And they're having, Anthony Smith is stepping in to fight Carlos Olberg. That's such a bad fight for Anthony Smith, man. Yeah, no, I was like, this is a much better fight than the Hill was for Olberg. Like, this is a yeah, great fight man. for Carlos I Olberg. I mean, I, li I like Anthony Smith, but at this stage of his career, you've almost got to kind of accept the fact that the guy's probably never going to win a world title or be close to he winning. Could've. He could have. He took that knee from John Jones, yeah? <laughs> That's all you could take. He's like, oh, man, I don't know where I am. And he's in the history books as the champion forever. Bro, but... you know what I mean? He's like the first guy to beat um, John Jones, man, after Matt Hamill. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, he could have, but nah, nah. I, don't, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of that fight, man. It's nowhere near the hype yeah, the Hill and Allberg have. I'm, I feel bad for Hill, man. I do feel for him because it's like the UFC kind of rushed him to do the Alex Pereira fight. I mean, I'm a fan of Jamal Hill, even mm. though there's a lot of people that just fucking absolutely hate on him. But yeah, great chat with you as always, Jermaine, man. Yeah, um, yeah, great, great having you on again, man. Like, fucking awesome stuff. Hey, look, guys, June, it's not been the best month, but like, at the end of the day, we've got some good replacement fights. So, oh, yeah, that's what it is, eh? But any final words, Jermaine, before we uh, head on out of here? You know, June has been pretty bad or sketchy, so so, if you will, but we got next month, you know, we got Macy Barber versus Rose Nama Yunus, so that'll make up for everything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm. I, I, I just talk about them in that, but yeah, I just, I just booked my flight. I'll be out there for that. <laughs> I don't even know if you're serious or not. No, I'm serious. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I will, I will no, be no. there. Nice one, bro. Nice one. Oh, but yeah, man. Thanks, Jermaine. Yep. See you, Ash.